So in this video series what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a really simple search engine. We're firstly going to be inserting all the websites that we get from our crawler in the previous series into a database and then what we're going to be doing is searching through that database to present you with the results I have here. So this search engine is going to be pretty basic. It's not going to have pagination and it's not going to be the most accurate search engine ever. That's because there'll be another series for a more advanced search engine for anyone that wants to learn how to do that. But this search engine will be useful for something like a custom site search for your own website. So you can see here I have a query that says Q equals and I can put in whatever I want. I can say hi code. You can see it has 62 results found and it's got all the results for uh, the hi code YouTube channel. It's got different YouTube videos. It's got a link for the hi code uh, URL shortener. And if I uh, pass in a query, say a blank query, you can see we get every result in the database. These are just Wikipedia articles. I've crawled some other websites with it like Google, YouTube, uh, places like that. So I think this gives you an overview that you can see sometimes we don't have a description. There's no description available, but we have the title and the uh, URL. Other times, if I scroll down to the bottom, we start getting a lot more descriptions. You can see here, uh, Microsoft provides descriptions and YouTube provides uh, descriptions for whatever videos you're watching. So I think you've seen how it works. So let's get started actually building our search engine. So our search engine has two pages. There's the index page, which is gonna be our web crawler, and there's the search page, which is our results page. We could move this to another page, call it crawler or something, and then have a home page like Google does on their index page. But that's something you can do if you're gonna put this on your own website uh, yourself. So this is the exact source code of uh, the how code GitHub uh, page. This is all the source code, it's all commented. And we're going to be modifying the web crawler slightly to insert the links it finds into our SQL database instead of um, outputting them to a file. So the very first thing we have to do is create a database so that we have somewhere to actually store the website results that we get from the crawler. So if you're using your local computer, you'll probably have access to PHP My Admin if you're using something like XAMPP or WAMP or something like that. And what we're going to do is create our database. You can do it with pure SQL yourself or we're going to use uh, PHP My Admin because it's easier. So the first thing we have to do is click databases and we're going to create a database. We're going to call it how search. And what I'm going to do is just click create. So our database has just been created and here it is over here. Now we need to create a table. We're going to create a table and we're going to call it index and that's going to be an index of all of the pages we have. And the reason we're going to call it index is because when a search engine crawls the internet, it stores all of its pages in something called an index. So it seems fitting to call our table index. So we're going to create six columns for our table. So the first column name is going to be ID. It's going to be a unique number that identifies every single individual result in the database. We need to change the index and set it to primary, which means every single ID is going to be unique. And if you see this box here, it says A underscore I, that stands for auto increment. And that means that every time we add a new row, its ID will increment by one. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna create another column, call it title. It's gonna be a var char and we'll set it to a length of like 200. You can specify this as whatever length you want. You might want a shorter length or a longer length. Just make sure if you set the title length to something short that you deal with it properly so that the titles aren't just cut off whenever your database runs out of characters for them to store in the title. The next one we're gonna store is description if the website has one. It's going to be a varchar and we're going to say that's equal to 200 as well. We're going to create another one, call it keywords. This one's going to be text and that's going to store all of our keywords. We're not going to specify a length for it. The next one we're going to store is URL and this one's also going to be text so that we can accommodate long URLs. Finally, we're going to create another column called URL underscore hash. And this is going to be a unique number that is the MD5 hash of every single URL. And this will mean we won't be inserting duplicate URLs into the database. So we're going to create another varchar and we're going to set this length equal to 32 because it's going to be an MD5 hash. Normally people say not to use MD5, but normally they just mean not to use MD5 for password hashing and things like that. We're just using it to make sure that we don't insert duplicate URLs into our database. And we're going to click save. So what we've done in this video is go over everything uh, that we're going to be going through in the series and we've created our index. And in the next video, we'll be modifying our crawler to insert its results into our database. And then after that, we'll be uh, actually creating the search engine. 
So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.